Hello and welcome! My name is Rob and you are watching a need to know video about the headliners of Download Festival 2019. On Monday we talked about Def Leppard and today we are discussing Slipknot. These are simple informational videos for newcomers to the band who maybe don't exactly know who they are. So who the band is, what kind of music they play, fun facts and three songs I think you should listen to to get an understanding of the band's musical style. Just before we jump in, if you like this video, please could you click like and subscribe so that you can get all of my festival content as soon as I upload it. It's going to be great for everybody involved. Anyway, this is everything you need to know about Slipknot. Number 1. The Who Slipknot are a heavy metal band from Des Moines, Iowa. The band was formed in 1995 by Sean Crayon, Joey Jordison and Paul Gray, with the current lead singer Corey Taylor joining in 1997. Number 2. The What Slipknot make heavy metal music, and are considered new metal thanks to their use of rap-inspired lyrics. However, the band disagrees with this and likes to distance themselves from other new metal bands like Korn and Limp Bizkit. Which is weird, because if you had a Venn diagram of Slipknot fans and Korn fans, it's basically a circle. Slipknot have a very distinct style with their use of turntables, rap-inspired lyrics and percussionists. And by percussionists, I mean people who hit beer kegs with baseball bats. It's weird, visually interesting, and adds a very cool, raw sound to the band's music. Number 3. The Fun Do you like fun facts? Because here's a load of them. Slipknot fans are lovingly referred to as maggots. The band gained notoriety in part due to their antics while performing live. Sid Wilson, for example, used to regularly set himself on fire during their gigs. The jumpsuits and masks that the band wear was originally meant as a statement about the music industry. They thought the record label would see them just as another band to market to the kids, so they thought they would dress like it. So they took away the individual personality of the members, made them wear jumpsuits to appear more like clones, and referred to them only by their number. The band members' masks from the All Hope Is Gone album were actually burned for the psychosocial music video. Sid Wilson is also a DJ, under the name DJ Starscream. In 2005, Slipknot filed a lawsuit against a different heavy metal band who also wore jumpsuits and masks. That band was called Cockrock, and they were managed by Burger King. It's absolutely crazy, it's an incredible story, look it up, you will not be disappointed. Number 4. The Songs In this section of the video, I explain three songs that I think you should listen to to get an understanding of what sort of music Slipknot plays. For their first song, I usually go with the band's most popular song, the most well-known one. The song that even if you don't know who Slipknot are, you probably know this song. For that, I'm going to go with Duality. I chose Duality because I think it's the most well-known song, even if you're not really sure who Slipknot is. If you heard the lyrics, I push my fingers into my, your brain would automatically go, eyes. <laughs> I'm not Corey Taylor. <laughs> Now the second song is something that I think summarises exactly what the band is about. It may not be their most popular song, but it's something that I think helps explain exactly what kind of music they do. For this one I am choosing The Devil in Eye. This is from The Grey Chapter. I chose this song because I think it summarises the band's musical change during this time. The songs become heavier, slower and distinctly more metal than new metal. It is also a fantastic song. Finally, the third song is a wild card, something that maybe isn't their most popular, but it's something that helps show the range of the band, something different from what they normally do. For this one, I am choosing Vermilion Part 2, the Bloodstone remix, purely because this is a slower version of the song Vermilion. It's a bit strange to hear the band play quite such a slow song, and in my head it sounds more like Stone Sour, Corey Taylor's other band. Plus, it's a remix of one of their other songs, so listening to them both back to back is really strange, because it's basically two different versions of the same thing. And that is all you need to know about Slipknot. As I say, this is a basic informational video. If you have any other song recommendations, fun facts, things like that, put them down there in the comments. If you like this video, please can you click like and subscribe for more content like this as soon as I upload it. Follow me on the social medias. You can even buy me a coffee on Ko-Fi if you want, no pressure. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Rob and I will see you in another video very soon.